What's up guys? This is the Brofman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire. So to round off up our last time, uh, we secured Baghdad and we have pretty much been pounding seven bells out of um, the Persian army. So we've managed to re-secure Baghdad and we have forces out trying to intercept these marauding stacks. However, I'm tempted to draw some of these chaps back to the capital to ensure we do have a strong garrison. Um, but actually then again, following on from this reorganisation I've just done, I may, I may end up actually only withdrawing the weaker units, such as these two. They can return back to the capital to help these guys reform. There we go. Cool. So I want this army to go around intercepting the bad guys. So you are Feleen, Camels, Militia. So let's hit this guy. Then we should... Ah, I was hoping to draw in much more than that. I really probably shouldn't have all that because that's a lot of men. More men than I would have liked to have. To have been lost. At least we've taken them out. <clears throat> Um, we're going for explosive shells and European doctrine, which is the right thing to do. Apart from that, we're actually in a pretty good position because we're not actually... No major threats over the horizon. We're at war with Britain, but Britain's over out of the way. I should probably make more use of my Icelandic holdouts, which I think I might actually do next turn. Um, so we've got the advantage in Iraq, and there's a few marauding stacks, but we'll be able to take them out fairly easily. But the main thing is we have um, Esfahan under siege, and we are drawing them out and causing attrition. So let's hit end turn, and let things tick by. And that big stack of British ships there is part of the reason why I'm unsure about wanting to push east, or push west, sorry, with a navy when my naval forces will be fairly basic and unable to defend themselves. Ideally, if I'm going to move into a trade theatre, I want to do it with a supporting... Um, with a fairly good supporting navy ready to fend off um, enemy forces. And I certainly want to have enough that I can rotate units, so as ships are damaged they can sail back and I can sail more into the theatre to make sure I don't lose the the region. Oh here come the Georgians. The Georgians are moving in but that's okay we've got a combined force I may have to recruit more ships not recruit more ships <laughs> recruit more forces so let's fall so who are you? Got lots of line infantry and cavalry just a lot of line infantry. Fall these guys back to the capital so I can replenish and I can't actually no, I don't have any, any trade at all I don't have any income at all because they are I'm getting some trade but it looks like loads of my trade comes in through Athens which isn't ideal but it's just a Jebek so these couple of fifths are enough to take them out yeah I'll take it into service why not Let's get back to Anatalia. So we are oh, back to getting income. Um, but we have missed a year. And I may even be forced to move this army back east to threaten Georgia. It's not a, not a great solution because we do have the Austrians are here, the Brits are coming, but we do have Istanbul with fortifications so we should be able to defend it fairly easily because we're about to have a whole lot of junk head our way but we're still laying siege to the capital i don't want to attack it i want to let them come at me sadly we can't do any re reinforcing the persians look like they've all decided to hunker down and sit still <clears throat> um Whereas their line infantry is better than mine, but I've got fire by rank, which they probably don't have. 
I haven't got any sh I did have, I've got one ship, maybe. A plan might be to pick up this army and deposit them straight into Tbilisi. Blitz it in turn. So we know the Georgians have the Georgians haven't been sitting idle. They've been slowly rebuilding their forces, and I'm gonna hope they do a spate of raiding prior to pushing Baghdad. Because that would help draw up their movement. And it would help buy us some more breathing space. I'm also hoping if if I can actually ship that army near Istanbul over into Georgian territory, that they will actually end up needing to fall back. Well, one of them will. We may be able to draw their forces away. They're not going to lose a large amount of income because the AI cheats and gets a lot of other income. Continue reading. Oh, they're actually going to attack us with one force and that's actually quite ideal because then we can at least we can sally out because this is the bigger army and this guy is weaker we could sally out and then destroy these guys i'm going to resist the temptation to spend money let's take this galley get these guys aboard ship deposit them off the coast of Tbilisi. This will be the interesting part to see how big their garrison ends up being. And this galley's probably going to get destroyed. So I might be tempted to move the Shebek around to occupy Izmir. Let's send... Well, these fell in with garrison troops, weren't they? Yes, they were. start to recruit some god you don't get me jan janissary royal janissary infantry guards you only get 187 then again that's about the size of a grenadier unit so it's reasonable um i may opt for two units of janissaries just to start marching up towards georgia i don't think persia is going to join the battle Because they have no diplomatic relations with... Oh, oh they, are, they are allied with Georgia. So what have you got? It's not very good infantry. Still sieging their capital, so that's not a problem. Because they are attacking us, we've got armed populist unit, which we don't really want. I cannot reinforce, actually, because they're sieging me. So we have to... Not like we're going to have to fight a battle to push them off. Um, but because I have the artillery advantage, I am going to uh, sally. But I'm going to defend to take advantage of the fact that I have artillery and they don't. Unless they decide to sit back and defend. In which case then I will obviously have to advance and dig them out of their position. It would be nice to fortify Baghdad, but I don't really have the income. And this is actually pretty nice terrain. So it's pointing the guns that way. Because this way at least we can manage our interactions with their battle line on our terms. Yeah, you're damaged, you may as well stay back. These chaps in the Seminis, they can deploy. Let's put the Bashis on this flank to help protect the Fellaeen, especially because we know they'll have cavalry. And we've got our camels in ready to intercept. And the other flank is going to have the Fellaeen and the Mamelukes, with the general being in the centre. Deploy our Issa ready first to make sure they are in a strong position. Firstly, bring the cavalry, camel nomads over here immediately. Same with my cavalry. Let's run my infantry into position because it looks like. 
be honest. I may even just want to keep the assemblies back completely. Drop these guys into square immediately. Go on, Seminese, get get out of dodge. Get my guns to start hitting their manoeuvring infantry. Yeah, they're shattered. Oh, I don't even need to attack them really if they're shattered. Let's keep our battle line strong. And let's position ourselves ready to launch a, a counter charge and try to cut them down as much as possible. I'm fairly sure they'll be driven to attack because they can't sit back and withstand this bombardment, or maybe they can. Nope. They've changed their minds. Oh, damn. Let's get this water back. And I do see the cavalry on the flank. Let's deploy some bashies specifically as a measure against them. Deploy the cavalry. Keep the guns firing on fairly central targets. Awesome. So we're getting double hits. They don't have bayonets, they may have plug bayonets, but we will have to see. And I may even curve my semis around, because it looks like I can get some shots onto the flank of their infantry position. They have yet to deploy their cavalry. Oh no, they haven't. There it is. Just walk our melee infantry up to them, and let's watch... Although, to be honest, I may... Because these guys can't form square, so I can't really... So this weaker unit's going to withstand the charge. Get my other bashies in. I may as well get my arm populace in as well. Already. They are routing. So where's my general? Let's get him running around the flanks. Let's get our artillery. Blasting them with canister shot. Because their cavalry should be neutered on the other flank. At the very least, our... Yeah, you guys, charge in. Fine, if you don't want to charge, because there's funny shenanigans going on, just run into the blob. Then engage them. Awesome. So this unit's single-handedly dismantling an entire infantry unit. general inbound rapidly push up our infantry line aggressively their army is reforming and they're starting to uh, appreciate the damage that my cavalry is going to do. The general's moving back but if they get too close okay, my general can take out the remnants of that foot infantry. Let's get my cavalry along. 
keep away from their infantry as it reforms. Cavalry is routing. Got to be careful, we need to destroy this building when we push. Let's get our cavalry to attack the general. Should be capable enough to knock them out. Yeah, they are still attacking the militiamen, so there's no real worries there. Good, good hits into the infantry. These are just semines, so they're not going to stand for long. So we do want to keep pushing against the infantry units furthest away from this already. Let's run these Bashi Bazooks up to help threaten this foot line infantry unit. My infantry is doing okay against theirs. Focus all the artillery on you. Let's hop over to my general. There's two guys left to kill. Call my cavalry back because we've got some excellent routing infantry units to kill. And that this militia unit is less of a concern, especially as they've split up, so. Now we got to counter charge by unit of militia. We are getting our cavalry into the right positions. Target our artillery before we get too much friendly fire. Killed the enemy general. Let's run our cavalry through here to start to try and kill this infantry unit. It's almost dead. Our Bashi should have a great time against this foot infantry unit. Both of these units are very close to death. Uh, Discord. Don't do it. Okie dokie. Right, focus on them. Let's speed this up a little bit. Five men remaining. Four men. Troops are oh, good. Now the unit's ready to charge in. We should be battle should be over soon. Nope, they've come back. The unit of militias came back after the uh, after we stopped charging it down. But this has turned out to be a very delicious battle. Camels are going to struggle. Good. So I want to char actually send, get my general over here ready to charge that unit of line infantry prior to these guys being murdered. Actually, they go for the infantry units far away. My general will go after the militia. Let's turn off the, the artillery fire. sure how well my cavalry is going to be able to chase them down. They could well escape, but if they do, they do. Yeah, I think these guys are going to route successfully, so let's get all my military power onto the militia. Yeah, there they go, they've already gone. Good. They are being eviscerated. Excellent. There's one guy remaining. Damn right, he was decisive.
we just absolutely melted through that Georgian army. We lost 500, they lost 2,000 men. That's huge. So now we've got some breathing space. Let's get these guys replenishing. It's going to take all of our money. But it's a good idea. Awesome. So we should get a bit more cash this turn. I'm tempted. Stop Urkonia from doing this and instead keep going down the research or the industry track. Because I need to start. My, my income's growing. My economy is growing. Um, but I'd rather have something a bit more substantive. Cool. Let's hit end turn. Because right now I am still very much dependent on trade. As was seen when we were blockaded by one Jebek. So I'd rather develop my own economy. Or at least my, develop my internal tax base to be stronger. But at the very least, we absolutely destroyed the first Georgian push. Which was a nice result. That's why I think I should really go more heavy in cavalry. Ooh, good. So they're selling out at Esfahan. Let's get into a defensive position. Because we don't want to get shot at with mortars. And if their mortars are deployed up, up threat towards me, then we'll have to go offensive. Which isn't a problem. It's just being ready for it. So let's see. Deploy, yeah. General rule of thumb, deploy back, defensive. Especially as Mar these troops, Ottoman troops, they're not the best when it comes to morale. At least in my experience from fighting them. So let's put a Feline in the center. And then let's put a terrible firing position. Let's put four Israeli on one flank. Let's put three Israeli on the other flank. Okay, let's put a Samat and a Risker of Souls behind one flank. Let's put a Samat and a Bashi Bazook. Actually, no, keep my melee infantry central. Then deploy camels on the flank. General in the centre. Yep, so they have deployed up. That's kind of part of the reason why I was so okay with deploying without defences. Why I didn't deploy as far back as possible. Because we do have um, a, f a reasonably good defensive position smashing into the center of my battle line so I need to I'm really overestimate how far these guys can stretch out Here comes their cavalry on the flank. Are they charging? I don't think they're going to charge. Do you have camels? That might be a bit tricky. Let's pivot. This unit of is keep the camels going. All of our guns, I'm fairly sure, are aiming at the mortars, but I don't think we're going to be able to do as much damage as we would like. Okay, let's push you guys up. Start getting into their face. Same with these guys. These, but these guys are all dervishes, so just run around them. Okay, 
everyone. Get your fire by rank on. These mods I've got on. Bottom infantry can fire by rank. Which is lovely. Change my artillery targets to focus on the same artillery, the same unit. Uh, I do see dervishes charging my camels, so let's just run my camels away. Let's begin the counter charges. Let's have a look at my Semat Janissaries. Look at them charging in, they look glorious. Where's my other camel unit? Yeah, it's wavering because all the guns are firing at it, so they could route if they do, that's okay. Yeah, there they go. As long as they're routing in good condition. So let's do something like this. Run my Serenis back so I can run my Bashi charge my Bashi Bazooks into battle. Pull these guys back, halt, fire at will. Let's cut down some of these dervishes. We're not going to kill as many of them as we liked, but the idea with withstanding charges like this from Sally and Garrisons isn't to destroy them. Well, ideally it's to destroy them. But if you can't do that, it's all about preserving your force intact for the next for the next push so what I really want to do is shatter these troops we killed the new general oh, this is already got charged by something Get them back into formation. So I've got I've got my Feline up here. Okay, let's get this ready to form square as a as bait to draw the camels in. Keep my melee infantry back. Okay, counter charge them with my arm populace. Charge away from them. But look, look where they're going. I mean, it would be very tempting to run my general unit straight through the middle there. Hey, my camel nomads came back. Why even do that? There you go, so my men have finally charged into the armed populace. Let's begin mowing them down. Got Dervish unit on the flank. Let's make sure our lone gun team isn't engaging them. So got one lone levy unit that's being slaughtered. Push the Misereles up to kill the dervishes up on the hill that are coming back. Yeah, let's charge my general straight into them, I suppose. So let's target far. Actually, no, keep targeting the closest group, get my general to attack the most furthest. Let's get the Bashi Bazooks back, let's get the melee infantry back. Don't worry about the armed populace. Nah, they may as well go for them then. They may as well keep killing the levy. Dervishes did charge in. Turn guard mode off, so my men keep chasing them down. I mean, 
game. It's got to be it, surely. I mean, absolutely continue. So now it's just kill them. Don't necessarily worry about getting particular units. Just slaughter them. I'm sure there probably is some tactical value in trying to target specific units like maybe garrison units or maybe not garrison units. I don't quite know what the deal is. But yeah, just, just keep killing them. Hello, this dervish unit is split up so I'm going to ignore them completely. charge down another unit because these guys are you can see them over here so that that will be a nightmare to try kill so just focus on something a bit more achievable my artillery yeah my artillery can hit this gun team <laughs> there they go Damn right, that was decisive. Ty Garrison was put to the sword, and there's nothing they can do about it. There we go. We lost 500 men, that's 2,800. Bring in all the reserves you like, the main strength is broken. And it's very nice of the Persians to at least co um, combine their forces. I'm sorry, it's a plastic bottle. And it's very nice of the Persians to. It's a lot of forces that'll make it easier to destroy at a later date. Yes, you're concerned now. It actually looks like you want to try and start raiding against some of my other regions. However, you're going to find yourself in deep shtuk. So we did get some replenishment going. You're yeah, you're gonna want to raid. So am I guys. Just put them under siege. Let's turn the screws to them. I've got 4,000. Top this force up, it won't take much. Yeah, 1,000. Okay, so you've got all sorts to spend our money on if we desire. Might be a smart idea to get another fifth rate under construction. As well as maybe an actual Israeli unit for garrison duty over here. And that does suck up a lot of our cash, but not all of it. So Istanbul, I may build a madrasa here. Then I can send my minister out to go and start to cause religious problems elsewhere. Built this building in Egypt, good. Yeah, this guy's gonna raid, and that's okay. So, fortunately, he's gonna hit my. I'm not even gonna pronounce that. Um, I'd rather he didn't do that because he's gonna knock off my religious happiness. But then that's offset by the fact that they are super angry that someone else is in their territory. Let's get these guys to, Her to Heracleon. So we've got the capital under siege. Uh, Baghdad is under attack from the remaining Georgian forces. This guy, in a turn, is going to take Esfahan for us, which is ideal. But I think I do just need to start recruiting more troops to help chase away the fragments finally out of Baghdad. And this army may end up going up to Ardabil, up into the north, maybe. Um, but the next action is going to be, hopefully, destroying this next Georgian army. So thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for more spilling of Georgian blood. Cheers, everyone.